University of um, Angola, a university in Angola. So literally, I'm spreading people out there. They, they come in to train so that they become professors in their own countries, in their own universities. And it's, it's lovely because, I mean, we, we are now trying to collaborate with them because we cannot, as South Africa, isolate ourselves from the rest of Africa. We are one. The world doesn't know the difference. I mean, if you are in New York, they are, you tell them you are from South Africa. First of all, they say, which country in South Africa? They have never heard of that. And then they'll ask you, uh, do you know my friend in Kenya? You know, uh, yeah. We are one thing as far as the world is concerned. If a problem is in Zimbabwe, it affects all of us. So we've got to work together as Africans. <laughs> Just landing in back, my children in particular, went through a cultural shock. It was hard, eh? I mean, <laughs> geez, I, I still couldn't, I still right to this day can't speak Soto properly, you know. And when I got back to, to Soto, I really did not know anybody, you know. And you got all these people saying, hi, your name is this, and I know you from this, and blah, blah, and I go run away, and like, I don't know who these people are, and shit, you know. It was, it was difficult. And for a long time, I also thought we were going back to Canada. Uh, maybe I was just dreaming it, but I thought we were going back and I just kept hoping to go back. But eventually I realized, hey, you know, we're not leaving here, we're going to stay here. And started making some friends and after that, you know, things got better. You know. Coming back was raw for me. In a, raw in a sense that I couldn't have the same challenge in research. I didn't have the same equipment. You know, in research we need equipment. Um, so it was hard for me. But I was determined, believe it or not, uh, the University of Lesotho, I'm sure it, it will admit this, I was determined to build it anyway, to try the best I can. But the, 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 the culture of research wasn't there. Re research is a culture that involves many people, and it wasn't there, and it was really very frustrating. I just became restless for research, and I felt it was time to move. And I didn't know much about roads, let me be honest. In Lesotho, we know UCT and VITS. We didn't know much about roads. And in those apartheid days, coming to South Africa was a no-no. Uh, not, not from the South African side, from the Lesotho side, we felt like you're supporting the system now if you go there. came here we didn't we couldn't quite appreciate what the system had actually done to the people it's only when you actually see it that you realize just how hard it had done and when i bought this house and the, 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 the drawing said boys room i say huh. so these people put their children out there what kind of people are this seriously i'm, I'm not joking i had no clue it's only now I see, I, not now, I mean later, I would hear one of the sections, not Benita, somebody else would say, oh, the boys are here. I said, no, 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 they're not boys, they're grown men. And I never understood the lingua of, of, of what is happening here. So it was a real big cultural shock for me, full stop. Now I come here, I had to adjust to color, black and white. For many years, I couldn't even say the words. I couldn't, now, now I can.